Hi, boys and girls. So this morning I just got off of the Zoom meeting with you. I was showing you the caterpillar eggs. And then I was thinking about other animals that hatch from eggs besides caterpillars. So what I'm going to do is post a video on Class Dojo of a really, really great book that I usually read in the springtime called Chickens Aren't the Only Ones all about all kinds of animals that hatch from eggs and it's by Ruth Heller and it's a really good book and while I'm thinking about eggs I also mentioned to you this morning that I was going to put a plastic egg in your packet that your parents are picking up because I usually do this in the spring in our classroom too but these are pla they're just plastic eggs they won't break and they're not real it's nice because they don't they don't break and so I think I have enough to put two of these in your packet so and then what you can, I think I'll also put like one of these little containers of paint and maybe some watercolors in your packet too because it's just fun to paint on the eggs. Even though Easter is over, it's always fun to paint an egg. So I'm going to start, on my egg, I think I'm going to start with the watercolor paint. And I, I know you all know how to use watercolor paints because we you love to use them in school. So I'm going to, I'm going to see if it goes on and if it stays on, I think it will. It looks like it's going. This is watercolor paint, so it's, remember the watercolor is the light color paint. I think I need some, so I'm just going to keep painting it. And then I think, I think what I'm going to do is paint the whole egg blue. Like this, or maybe I'll add another color. Maybe I'll add some purple. Because I like purple. So I'm going to add some purple and then I'm going to paint the whole thing. And watercolor paint is easier than um, food. A lot of people paint their, color their eggs with food coloring, but food coloring doesn't come out of clothes and it's very hard to get, get out of, off your skin. And so this is, watercolor paint is easy because it, it doesn't really stain that much. So I'm going to paint my whole egg. Maybe some more blue. Maybe, I, maybe I'll add some green. I like green. Sometimes green looks nice with... Oh, that's pretty. So, there, so I have lots of colors. So then, now I think I'll use this. This is a darker kind of paint. Because this is not watercolor, so... Now I'm going to wipe my brush off a little bit because I don't think I need water now anymore. I I can dry the egg off a little bit too. And then I think I'll paint like polka dots maybe. I like polka dots. And then maybe, maybe squiggly lines. There. Maybe some more polka dots. There, I think I'm done. And that's my egg. So if you paint your eggs at home, the next time we have a meeting on Class Dojo, you can show me what your eggs look like. So I think I have enough so that I can give everyone two of these and with, with a little container of paint like this. And I hope you... I hope you listen and watch the story, Chickens Aren't the Only Ones, on Class Dojo, and I hope you have fun with your egg. Okay, bye. See ya.